Yeah. So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Anirban with us. So Anirban, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yeah. So yeah. Hi everyone. I am Anirban and I am uh, currently a backend engineer at Coin D Six. So prior to Coin D Six, I joined uh, McMahon Trade as an intern uh, right after graduating from college and uh, after uh, completing my internship, I worked there as a full time uh, backend engineer in photo supply uh, team. Uh, recently, I have uh, moved into Coin D C X uh, and working as a backend engineer in the Octo platform, which is a uh, uh, token transfer and uh, uh, NFT uh, platform where users come and uh, do uh, transfer of uh, coins like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and uh, Solana and various other meme coins also. Yeah, so this is um, mm -hmm. introduction. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. So, like he mentioned, he has recently cracked uh, Coin D C X, which is a great company. So, we'll be getting to know his journey to cracking Coin D C X, his preparation, interview experience, and everything in between. So, Anirban, would you like to start us off with your interview experience at Coin D C X? Like, what all happened? How did you apply? Yeah, so like uh, I applied uh, through a referral. Um, I saw a LinkedIn post uh, of uh, a hiring drive happening at Coin D C X and i applied it through a referral so there was a directly referral link posted in uh, linkedin and i applied through it and i got a call on the very next day uh, about my uh, role and expectations were uh, discussed by the recruiter and after uh, one day i think the interviews were scheduled for the first and second round and yeah uh, like after that uh, now we uh, there was a final round for hiring manager and uh, this was the overall uh, uh, apply like uh, going through the uh, recruitment process and uh, going through the uh, end to end uh, uh, from like applying to getting the offer mm -hmm. nice nice so can you like give us a bit of explanation about what all happened in each rounds like what kind of problems did they ask and all yeah yeah so like the first round uh, was uh, a simple uh, ds algo round where uh, i think mm -hmm. uh, i don't remember the questions exactly but uh, you can consider it as a lead code medium um, mm -hmm. there was a question uh, regarding with the q like q uh, pop and uh, like dq one question was regarding dq and another okay. question uh, was from array and strings so yeah but hmm. the difficulty level would be considered as a lead code medium. Hmm. Right. And uh, after, that was followed by a technical round, right? That was followed uh, by a second technical round. So for the uh, second uh, technical round, uh, it was a machine coding round followed by LND. So for the machine coding round, it was a small problem statement of designing a car rental system with given some basic uh, criteria like number of cars and the parking and the like uh, number of uh, inventories and the customers and the users so uh, it was asked to write out some write some functions and the focus was to check the uh, coding practice and the uh, patterns uh, uh, i use uh, during uh, the uh, code during the uh, uh, right during the execution of the uh, problem statement so after that, uh, there was a follow-up question of uh, LA, uh, of LLD, and I was asked to design an LLD of uh, crypto uh, portfolio dashboard. So if you have a DMAT account, you must have a portfolio uh, where you can see stocks. But for crypto, uh, there is a portfolio, but the portfolio must be supported in all the currencies. So it was asked to design a crypto portfolio dashboard uh, supporting all the currencies uh, which are available in the world for all the given time periods. So yeah, this was a problem statement for designing a crypto uh, portfolio dashboard, and uh, I had to design the database schema, class diagrams, uh, number of the number of APIs, and how will the microservices looking like. So yeah, this was a pretty much discussion overall, and it went for around one hour, one, one hour fifty minutes. Hi everyone, I really hope you're enjoying the video so far about how to crack Coin D6. Now let me tell you, if you also want to crack a similar high-paying company, then you need to have a lot of skills. But even before the skills and even before the interview, the biggest hurdle is how to get the interview call. Because majority of the tier 3 colleges, you don't have any company coming to your college. Especially a company like CoinDCX, it is very difficult to get your resume shortlisted in that. And the best way to approach this is via referral. And I know how hard getting a referral is. You message so many people, but all of them ghost you and all of them ignore you. 
and it becomes almost impossible to get a referral. So TopMate has made it extremely easy for you to get referrals completely free of cost. All you need to do is go to the link in the description, get on TopMate, and you'll be able to see people from every company, almost every company, who will be able to refer you for any opening that you want. So get on TopMate, get on the link in the description, and connect with as many people as you want who will be able to refer you. And not only they will be able to refer you, but they'll also be able to guide you on how to prepare your resume to have a better chance of it getting shortlisted, how to crack the interview, and pretty much everything that you need to crack the company. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description and get your dream company referral right now. No more excuses. And now let's get back to the video. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So initial round was DSA and then the follow-up round, so there was no DSA asked. Was it like this? Uh, no, in the second round, it was a machine coding round with uh, focus on coding practice and execution of the problem mm -hmm. statement. Okay, so DSA was only limited to the first uh, round, right? The first technical round. Yes, I'll go. It was limited to only the first technical mm -hmm. round. Nice, nice, nice. So after the technical round and then the machine coding and then the LLD, was it followed by a HM or a HR round? Or was that was like, was that the end? Yeah. Followed by uh, culture fit and HM uh, mm -hmm. round, where uh, uh, the first part was again okay. technical, uh, followed by some behavioral and uh, uh, behavioral questions uh, like the common um, behavioral questions. So if I start with the uh, technical part, I, I was uh, again asked about my current projects. So, like there was a huge focus on my current work, current projects, uh, tech stack, and what are the databases I am using. What are, what are the metrics uh, I have achieved in my current uh, project? Uh, how how are we tracking the metrics? How are we uh, putting the alertings over that? And how are um, like we achieving the uh, like how are we achieving uh, uh, minimum uh, downtime? So there must be production outrages in all the uh, uh, services or all the uh, products. So and our aim is to have is to achieve a minimum downtime so yeah so hm was like uh, asking about the how did you achieve the minimum downtime and how is your overall uh, services look like how is the hld of your current uh, system or the current projects so yeah these were the questions and for uh, behavioral questions there were some common be uh, behavioral questions which are like available in the internet or uh, generally asks like how do you manage a conflict how what is the feedback your manager has currently given you uh, which you think should you should improve so uh, for answering these kind of questions uh, generally i follow the star pattern the star pattern is like very popular to uh, answer this kind of um, behavioral questions we can like you can like read more about star, star pattern uh, by in youtube and like in mm -hmm. google yeah so this is the overall interview mm -hmm. nice man nice all right. So, you know, CoinDCX is a pretty good company, pretty in-demand company that a lot of people want to crack. So, obviously, the interview process is also, you know, pretty hard to crack for a lot of people. So, I'd like to know your preparation journey because it had DSA, it had design, it had pretty much, you know, almost everything. So, I want to know, ki, how was your preparation journey? Like, how did you prepare Kyata to be at a level that you were able to crack it? So, like, DSA, uh, preparation, I was... Uh, already doing it for last uh, two okay. or three months, but uh, as uh, like I, I would say, ki har company mein to DSL ko crack nahi hota. Kabi -kabi aisa hota hai ki you don't uh, uh. get, you don't uh, click the question during the interview. Like interview ke time, hmm. ke mein wo click nahi hota. Kabi -kabi click ho. So it's all about practice, and um, sometimes it's also all about luck also. So yeah, DSL go around. Uh, so like I was in interviewing mode and I was continuously giving multiple interviews. So every day there was uh, two to three oh, interviews nice. scheduled and started hiding very aggressively from uh, like the mid of hmm. December and in between there was Christmas and New Year holiday. So uh, the hiding process was paused for two weeks, but uh, as soon as the holidays uh, got over and the hiring got resumed, so they were uh, hiding aggressively and interviews were scheduled back to back so i would say more than practice uh, i would say for me for my case it was the number of interviews i gave uh, as i gave a lot number of interviews uh, i found myself uh, more confident uh, day by day after each interview so obviously i didn't i was not able to uh, crack 
all the interviews uh, i got stuck uh, in machine some in some uh, companies i got stuck in machine coding in some companies i was uh, rejected in the dsl go round only and in some companies uh, like uh, there was a third round mm. of hld so yeah multiple companies and uh, multiple interview rounds and after this i can say that uh, the preparation is uh, uh, from lead code only and uh, if you uh, guys know about striver mm. like there's a, a sh- Striver sheet of uh, HD Striver sheet, which uh, I follow, it generally covers up everything. Like it covers up everything. If you can like go through it, learn the concepts, you will you will be mostly sorted. Hmm. So yeah, this is a preparation uh, strategy I followed, and I would say the luck also followed as I had got many interview schedule which made me more confident. Hmm. Right, right, and I think it's a very good advice, you know, because you don't have a limitation of how many interviews you can appear for, and an interview, say, the practice, hoti hai, although you should not think of interview as a practice, but the more interviews you give, I've also felt this. The more interviews you give, right, the more practice you'll get, the more confidence Haan. you'll get, है ना? हाँ, कभी-कभी ऐसा मतलब कभी-कभी आप prepared नहीं होते और interview appear uh, interview में appear हो जाता है तो कभी-कभी लगता है कि like the opportunity uh, is कि कभी कभी परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाता तो लगता है कि अपॉर्चुनिटी चला गया कि जैसे कि एक एग्जांपल दूंगा क्रेड का भी इंटरव्यू था एंड आई डिडंट परफॉर्म गुड इन द मशीन कोडिंग राउंड क्रेड का फर्स्ट राउंड ही मशीन कोडिंग राउंड होता है सो द डीएसएल गो राउंड इज द सेकंड राउंड ऑफ क्रेड सो या इन दैट राउंड आई डिडंट परफॉर्म वेल एंड आई लाइक नाउ आई थिंक दैट आई मिस दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी सो कभी कभी होता है कि आप प्रिपेयर्ड नहीं रहते fully and you appear for the interview and sometimes you miss but yeah this are all are learnings which uh, you will need the rounds so nothing gets wasted i think all the experiences are uh, crucial mm, that is that is very true so, you know nothing gets wasted even if you fail in an interview at least aapko learning mil rahi hai ki aap kahan fail ho rahe ho and eventually you will crack a product based yeah. company like you crack coin dcx right if that's why i even say to the people watching you know even if you keep on failing a lot of people will complain ki yaar mai bas fail ho raha hu fail ho raha hu Take it as a learning. Learn what is going wrong, and eventually you will crack a good company, right? Yeah. Like, uh, first of all, like many people complain that interview ke calls yeah, yeah. uh, nahi uh-huh. aate. Uh, like, uh, I what I uh, decoded is the ATS mm-hmm. ATS code. So all the companies have their own application uh, tracking system, and you have to decode the application tracking systems to get interview calls, and it is the. Uh, that is a like a cheat code if you can uh, think of yeah that is a cheat code to get interview calls so what you need to do is you need to take the job description and see if your uh, resume and the job description matches and uh, get a ats code so what uh, there are like like lot of uh, websites where you can get a free ats code i would recommend to have a ats code of more than 80 and uh, what uh, i did was uh, i took the job description i took my resume uh, gave it to chat gpt and asked to generate an ats code Which was uh, quite helpful, and ChatGPT also recommended that okay, these points must be included, and these points are not needed. So after uh, doing some corrections, my resume was overall fit for all the product-based companies as a backend uh, developer. But still, I I got lot of rejection mails, and I also got lot of interviews also. So it's a, a balance uh, between getting interviews and getting rejected. So I would recommend to uh, have a ATS-friendly resume. and like how to get a tips it is friendly resume there are a lot of videos lot of uh, articles lot of websites to have a like good it is friendly resume mm, right right i was just about to ask this question <laughs> ki how to get interview calls and all mm-hmm. and this is very true you know bahut log ka resume isliye reject ho jata hai matlab see the main thing it's all dependent on your resume agar aapka resume acha nahi hoga automatically within a minute the system is going to reject you and one point that you said right chat gpt mm-hmm. is very helpful in job searching it will literally you can like you said you can give it the job description link you can give it the application link you can give it your resume and ask it to compare matlab wo batayega aapko ki kitna percent chance you have of getting selected and what you can improve on right so like i use this method to apply in google and i got a interview huh? a, a interview call in google without yeah, any reference nice. so i yeah so i didn't make it because the rounds were uh tricky i didn't make through all the rounds i made two rounds and two rounds were not uh, positive so uh, yeah so th- this was a method i used uh, similarly for applying to google and uh-huh. got an interview call without any nice nice so this is this is something you know unique that i worked for and we have a live example you know like like you said ki we've gotten so many interview calls yeah. with it 
all right amazing amazing okay so we have talked about the technical things we have talked about you know getting the job we have talked about all these things so at the end of the video would you like to give any piece of advice to all of the job seekers who are watching this video right now who also want to crack a company like you know mmt or coin dcx what advice would you like to give them yeah so, so first of all i would like to um, like uh, give advice of having a strong resume mm, yes so what you can do is uh, build test very strong resume and you know, use the uh, relevant mm. keywords uh, and you have to mention your skills and experience like this that achieved x measured mm. by y by doing z you can't simply like like write like develop five <laughs> apis in these services and this will uh, directly uh, take <laughs> out your resume from the application tracking system you have to mention like i have achieved this x which is measured by y and per, by performing z so this is the hack of writing a experience writing a skill in a resume and this is the method methodology followed to crack the ats so i would suggest to first of all to have a good ats friendly resume which will uh, get you interview forms and after that followed by that we have to uh, do your preparation you can go for strivers uh, sheet hd sheet uh, and for LLD, HLD, I followed the Shian's uh, series in uh, HLD and NLD. You, you can find that series in uh, YouTube. Some of the videos are uh, subscribed only. You can get this course in Udemy for like 300 bucks. Yeah. So what I was telling that uh, for the uh, LLD part, uh, you can follow Shian's Jens video. And for HLD also, uh, you can follow his video. Um, uh, his series is there in YouTube for HLD and NLD. And some of the videos are in subscribe only mode you can get it from udemy for like 300 mm. rupees yeah so this was my preparation strategy for dsl i simply just followed lead code and strivers uh, sd sheet that was more than enough to uh, like to crack all the mostly all the dsl grounds but yeah sometimes it happens that some of the questions you don't get clicked during the interview and you get clicked later so I would suggest to give more and more mock interviews, more practice more and more. The more you practice, the more you do, and uh, and that is the only way to like, mm. have, uh, like ace the interviews. Correct, correct, correct. And this is a very important point to recognize that you said, you know, and I don't think many people talk about it. You can never be perfect, you know. You can be very well mastered of everything, but fear be or sakta hai ki koi aisa question hai jo aapko right time pe click na ho. So it's also important that you don't beat yourself up over an interview that you have bombed, <laughs> you know. So that is a very important okay. point as well. Eventually you'll get there, but it might happen despite of every mastery you have. Sometimes luck may not be in your favor. You know, luck is also a very important part of everyone's interview. You know, everyone has had some luck in getting to the place where they are, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the resources that he has mentioned, we'll put them in the description box. You can check him out from there. I'll also put an urban's LinkedIn in the description box so you guys can you know follow him from there, connect with him from there. So I guess that covers pretty much everything yeah. about an urban's journey to cracking coin DCX. Uh, thanks a lot, an for coming on my channel and sharing your journey. I hope it will help a lot of students. Thank you.